Okay, so now we're going to talk about a different type of bond, covalent bonds. And let's just remind ourselves that a bond is the physical association of two atoms, two or more atoms. Okay, all right. So um, now let's talk about this thing called covalent bonds. That's where we're at now. And I would like to, again, pull up some of my um, PowerPoint here, okay? So let's look at these two individual atoms, okay? It's, this is the nucleus here, and then it shows one electron, okay? This one over here has one electron. Now we know these atoms aren't stable. And if you need a reminder as to why that's so, you need to go back to earlier lectures on atoms to re-watch re those videos, okay? So, these atoms are not stable because they only have one electron in the first valence shell. It needs to either have zero or two, okay? They need to be completely full, completely empty. So, we said what these atoms can do is that sometimes they'll gain an electron or lose an electron to get to that stable number. But it turns out they have another option. And that option is to share electrons. This guy says, hey, I need two. And this guy over here says, hey, I need two. And they say, well, why don't we just share each other's electrons? That'll make it to where we've got two. Okay. So this is another way to be able to share those electrons and get up to the correct number. So this shell, they've kind of merged the shells, okay? And so now there's two electrons in that first valence shell around each of these atoms. And here we have a molecule from sharing electrons. Now let's look at the charge. We've got one two positive charges. We've got one, two negative charges. So positive two and then negative two minus two gives you zero. So this whole molecule here is uncharged. There's no charges associated with it for sharing electrons. Now, what I will tell my students is I'll say, okay, I want you to look at this picture and tell me what is the difference between this picture and this picture? Let me show you one more time. This picture versus this picture. Well, here clearly the electrons are being held a little bit tighter to one atom than the other. So here they're sharing electrons, but one of them is being an electron hog. They're saying, okay, I'll share some of the time, but most of the time I'm keeping the electrons. And I'm sure you've actually probably known people like that in your own life that you go to share something, but they keep it most of the time. Okay. So they, that is the difference between the two types of covalent bonds where they share electrons equally, then it is a nonpolar covalent bond. Nonpolar. But when they, when one atom hogs the electrons, the sharing is unequal, it is called a polar covalent bond. A polar covalent bond. Now what are the consequences of this? Okay, turns out, let's look at the charges here, okay? Now we said two positives, two negatives, everything's shared equally, so it's an overall negative charge. But let's look here. On this side, we've got a positive, but it's holding two negatives a little bit closer to it. Is it sharing? Yes, so it's not like it's stolen that electron and has a full extra negative charge, but it holds them a little bit more tightly. So it has a little bit more negative because it has a little bit more electrons, which are negative, to 
this side of the molecule. So we write that. This symbol here, it's the Greek letter delta. It means partial. So this means that this part of the molecule has a partial negative charge because the electrons are over on this side more often. So there's a little bit more negative on this side. Which means over here, because the electrons are being pulled away, this side has a partial, remember delta means partial, a partial positive charge. So this is a polar covalent bond, and this molecule is called a polar molecule, and it will have partial charges. Okay, so now let's go back to our chart here, and let's fill out some information. So nonpolar covalent, do atoms share electrons? Well. Yes, because it's covalent. Polar covalent, are atoms sharing electrons? Yes, they are. So covalent means you're sharing electrons. Ionic means you've stolen them. So do they share electrons? We're at nonpolar. Yes, so is the sharing equal? Yes, it's equal. Each atom keeps those electrons around it an equal amount of, of time as the other atom. Covalent polar, is the sharing equal? No, it's unequal. That means we've got an electron hog. One of those atoms is keeping the electrons held a little bit tighter. Is there any stealing of electrons? No, they're sharing, they're not stealing. So we haven't stolen electrons, we're just sharing. Nonpolar, is there any sort of charge, either full or partial? No, but polar, that is where we get the partial charge. Okay. Now, this is where sometimes students get a little bit confused. Okay. So I want to try and be clear so you're not confused. Nonpolar covalent. There's no charge, there's no attraction of charges. It's simply that they're sharing electrons. So bonds are not formed by the attraction of charges. What about polar covalent? Are there partial charges? Yes, but is that why the atoms physically associated. No, they physically associated to share electrons. The charge is a consequence. It doesn't cause it to happen. And so the answer to this would actually be no. They come together to share electrons. The, the way that they share it is what gives you a charge. But that isn't why they bond. They bond to share electrons.